Welcome back everybody. In this lesson, we are going to find out what is karate, what is it useful for, and why one should learn it or use it in their projects. So let's get started. So, what is karate? Karate is an open source test automation project. It started out as an API test automation framework, meaning you could test HTTP based APIs and which will be the focus of our series anyway, but it now combines mocks, performance testing, and even UI automation and even desktop uh, app automation into a single unified framework. Because it is an open source project, there are no licensing costs and it is free. But more importantly, because the source code is available, anyone could strive to improve it or add new features. It is one of the most popular projects out there, as you can see from the number of forks and number of stars it has got. It has a vibrant community, meaning any questions that you might have might have already been answered uh, in some of the forums. Stack Overflow is a good forum. Or even, even if the questions are not answered, there is a good chance that the community will provide a quick help. You can also see that the framework is built in uh, Java. This 85% of the core base uh, is in Java. Karate is used by uh, you know, many of the Fortune 500 companies as well. Uh, it, it featured in uh, ThoughtWorks annual tech radar for a couple of years. You can see the tweet coming out of the uh, this Karate's official Twitter handle here, uh, uh, showing, showing the ThoughtWorks tech radar report. I think for the 2019 or 2020. Uh, so it is quite popular. Now that we have seen what is karate and what, it, what uh, it is useful for, why should you consider learning or using it? Karate is one of the simplest test frameworks out there with a very low learning curve. So the time between your learning phase and being productive phase is very minimal. One of the reasons why uh, it is very easy is because it does not require for you to have knowledge of any programming language for instance java you don't need to know java or c plus plus or any of the programming language to be able to write tests using karate karate uses what is called as a dsl uh, for you to write tests dsl or domain specific language is a purpose-built language and in this case uh, the purpose is to do test automation Karate DSL uses what is called as Gherkin syntax. As you can see here, uh, this is a test written in Karate using uh, the Gherkin syntax. It uses what is, if, if you have used uh, other test frameworks like Cucumber, you might be familiar with this syntax. Uh, it uses what is called as given, when, then syntax. Uh, it is very English-like, uh, you know, uh, very readable. And like I said, you don't need the knowledge of Java. So even a non-programmer would basically write uh, these tests. <clears throat> uh, if you look at this uh, example, uh, and if you know a little bit of HTTP, uh, you can pretty much, even though you don't know Karate yet, you can pretty much figure out what is going on here. It says scenario, create and retrieve a cat. So that is what it is trying to uh, test. It creates and then retrieves a cat. Uh, it has a URL. It makes a post request, verifies that uh, the post request was successful uh, by checking 201 code and then checking the response. So, uh, you know, as you can see, it is very easy even for a non programmer uh, you know, to write tests and validate, make uh, uh, API validations. Uh, if you have experience with other test automation frameworks like Cucumber, uh, for example, you know you have to write a lot of uh, Java code in the form of step definition along with the Gherkin style uh, code. In Karate, you don't have to write any step definition Java code. All the Java step definition code that you need for HTTP or JSON XML validation is built in. So when you write your tests and save them in, in a feature file, you don't have to compile any code. So it is pretty fast. Uh, you can also look at some of this uh, resources in, in, in github.com uh, karate labs 
where it shows a uh, comparison between cucumber and karate uh, you know the support for uh, dynamic data driven testing parallel execution and everything uh, you can also see for instance uh, this post by peter thomas the the writer of uh, uh, karate framework uh, he shows comparison between rest assured and karate rest assured is yet another api test automation uh, framework out there uh, what you need 431 lines in rest assured uh, you can do the same job in about uh, 67 lines so you can pretty much figure out how simple it is to write uh, tests in karate uh, one other reason why karate is powerful and popular is because it treats uh, jason as a first class citizen uh, today uh, today's uh, api economy uh, world uh, web apis are everywhere right companies of any size when building cloud native services or distributed service or even monolithic services expose apis or consume apis for the, as part of their business bulk of these apis are either rest apis or graph based apis but in almost all cases they are json based so in such a world having a test framework that handles json without a lot of overhead is a big plus it reduces complexity uh, of writing tests a great deal uh, same json based assertion you might uh, need say 20 30 lines in a java code but with karate you can express those complex assertions in just one or two lines uh, you can see in this uh, index file uh, uh, there's a whole section dedicated for assertion this this uh, goes in depth of how you can assert uh, you know uh, json based uh, payload and responses uh, you know there's this quick shortcut uh, uh, cheat sheet uh, sort of also available and we are going to go through all of these in, in our series uh, so yeah having having json as a first class citizen is a big plus uh, as discussed in the beginning karate started out as uh, an uh, api test automation framework uh, but then uh, it has also expanded uh, to include uh, browser-based testing ui-based testing performance testing to serve as a mock uh, and although it does not necessarily mean that it is great in each of these areas it has the benefit of having all your test infrastructure in one place for example now that you have a feature file for functional api testing in karate you don't need to duplicate the same thing in another tool like say jmeter for performance testing you can reuse the same feature file that you have written in karate and karate has this integration with gatling for performance tests you can reuse the uh, same feature files and do performance testing by uh, you know overlaying the load factor on top of it uh, i'm going to demo karate's capability in performance testing and browser testing in this series but that is not going to be the focus of our, of our series our focus uh, is going to be uh, around api testing karate has uh, interoperability with java and javascript so as i mentioned in uh, the beginning if all you had to do was api testing you may never need to write a java code but there are cases when you want to do more than api validation let's say you had some additional assertion on top of api validation like checking database records or kafka events or uh, dynamo db records on aws which don't really have rest apis in such a case you can write a java class using their appropriate sdk or drivers and have it called from karate feature and then validate the result back in the feature file this is a very powerful feature and provides a lot of flexibility in testing we are going to see examples of this in the series you can also have uh, utility functions written in java and reused in karate feature file karate also has inbuilt uh, javascript engine uh, so uh, javascript code mixes well with karate too Again, you can have utility functions written in JavaScript and used in feature file. I will do a quick mention of some other key features uh, in Karate. There's an inbuilt support for reports. So at the end of uh, test execution, you get a nicely formatted detailed report. Uh, if there's any failure, it takes you directly to the point of failure to the step uh, it failed. So you don't waste a lot of time finding out what failed. Uh, 
there is support for uh, data driven uh, testing what that means is uh, the test data can reside outside of your uh, test feature files uh, so you can reuse the test against a lot of data points uh, there is support for environment switching uh, uh, meaning you can have uh, one code but depending on the environment it will inject the right variables uh, during testing for instance uh, your tests are the same but depending on the test environment you want one or the other url pass inside the test and this can be easily accomplished in karate uh, there are a lot of other features uh, you can also see a lot of them listed out here in the index file uh, and we are going to explore most of them in this series but that is it for now i hope i was able to pique your interest in the subject and i hope you are as excited as me to embark on this journey to learn karate uh, i will see you in the next lesson bye